are you surprised with the relative ease with which uh, the FSA has entered our friend city centre? No, actually, it's not a surprise, but it was an expected course because uh, Free Syrian Army, by the support of Turkish armed forces, were prepared for such kind of operation in Afrin. And they were trying to shape the area for more than a week after they had captured the, you know, uh, east, you know, uh, north, and also the west portion of Afrin. And the meaningful issue is that this operation has started at the Martyrs' Day of the uh, Turkish people, which means they dedicated this victory to the martyrs of Turkey and also the Free Syrian Army. Uh, if you go over the military planning, they have divided the city center to 14 different zones and started to clean up the first three ones which means they, their focus is to clean up mines, IEDs, and also to fight against the remnants of the PKK members. But until now, there is no certain and uh, strong resistance against FSA, uh, and they are uh, advancing in downtown, which uh, we can claim that they will finish their business in a, uh, in a week. Uh, there are also, you know, uh, some other issues like civilian casualties, but we see that they have left the southern flank open, uh, but they control it and allow civilians to run or to escape or, you know, to leave the city, uh, which means they do not want to harm the civilians. But I believe that they will allow these civilians to come back after the cleanup operation has uh, finalized. Uh, and, uh, yes. Mora, we're just seeing pictures of uh, the Turkish flag being raised here on a flagpole. But of course, Recep Tayyip yeah. Erdogan has said the FSA flag is also flying in Afrin. This is important symbolism, is it not? Because the Turkish military itself has not entered Afrin. It's the FSA. They are Syrians. Erdogan has this very specific plan and very specific idea that he wants to present with Operation Olive Branch, that it's for the Syrian people. Do you expect the Turkish military to essentially stay encircling the town centre to keep it secure while the FSA secures the town centre itself? Okay, the Turkish flag uh, is a symbol right now because there was the flag of uh, PKK over there. Now they replaced it. But this area is not captured by, uh, by the purpose of invading there. This area, as was announced at the beginning of the operation, will be handed over to Free Syrian Army. And now there is a meeting in Gaziantep, southern city of Turkey, and they will you know, discuss how to organize this reverse immigration. And key leaders of Syrian community, as well as Turkish government, will represent over there, and they will discuss how they will build up the city, hand over the authority, and also have this portion of Syria be, you know, accommodation uh, for the civilians. So the end state of the Turkish government is not to have uh, soldiers on the ground, maybe in the long term, but have this area a suitable place for the civilians. And I think, especially European Union should be uh, very vigilant because European Union does not want any immigration towards Europe. And this is a chance, especially for Europe, to build up a city, facilities, and have Syrians stay in their country.